Next we want to be able to click on our change avatar option, choose a file, and have a preview displayed underneath the file input in order for us to crop. So back in the user panel, on the input we'll add an on change to put the file that we select within state. It'll reference a handle change function. And handle change will take an event where once again we'll have a file variable. It'll reference the first file in the files array from event.target. And here we're going to use the file reader API in order to once we check to make sure that we have a file within our file variable, we're going to use the reader and this read as a data URL method to read the file, where then our reader will listen for the load event, and in the callback to that, we're going to set the preview image property within state to reader.result. So we'll create preview image, set that to an empty string in state. And now we want to bring in a tool called Avatar Editor from React Avatar Editor. And this is what we'll use to crop the image, the preview image that we now have access to. So we'll destructure preview image from state. And then within the first grid column, we'll take the preview image. And if we have a preview image, we're going to show the avatar editor component, where it accepts an image prop, which we'll set equal to preview image. We'll give it a width of 120 pixels and a height of the same and a border of 50 pixels. And we can scale the image with a value of 1.2 to make it zoomed in a bit more. So now once we save that and we select change avatar, we choose a file. Now we can see our avatar editor. So now what's selected within this box is what we'll use to crop our image. And then we'll click on the preview button in order to perform the cropping. So we'll add an on click to our preview button. Set that equal to handle crop image. So we'll create this new function. To crop our preview image, we need to add a ref to our avatar editor component. So I'll add this ref prop, and on the ref we want to create an inline function. We pass through this value of node and assign it to avatar editor. So avatar editor is now in our class. We can reference it with this dot avatar editor. We'll first check to see that we have this reference. Then on this ref we can execute the method get image scaled to canvas. This will do the cropping of our image. And we want to convert this to an image blob. So we'll use the method to blob. Within that callback, we get access to the return blob. We want to create an image URL by taking the create object URL method and passing in the blob. And we want to set state we want to put the image URL that we're creating on this cropped image property and pass the blob to its own property in state. So the cropped image property will allow us to see another preview of the image that we've selected with the avatar editor component. And the blob will be necessary for sending the image file over to Firebase storage. So we'll destructure cropped image from state within render and then within our second grid column we're going to 
First check to see if we have a value for cropped image and state. If so, we're going to render an image component whose style property will be set to margin equal to 3.5 m's auto, a width of 100 pixels, a height of 100 pixels, a source set to cropped image. Then we'll head down to our change avatar button. We'll set up a conditional where we'll only show this button if we have a cropped image. And once we save that file, we can test this out. We'll go to change avatar. We'll choose a file. We'll see our preview. And once we click on the preview button, we can see the cropped image with the selection that we chose. We can change that selection and hit preview again if we like to get a different crop. And then in the next section, we'll set up the functionality for our change avatar button in order to persist the changes that we made with our image.